Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com This tutorial will look at the new FNA function in Excel 2013 Now this new function is well overdue The idea that we will have lookup and reference functions such as VLOOKUP, MATCH, LOOKUP, whatever one it will be and if they are unsuccessful they will return this hash NA error message. That is what I've got going on screen at the moment on this mileage claim form that it returns how many miles away from our head office, Southampton offices, but it is reducing error messages on the other four rows because they do not have a journey in them yet. Now I can put in a journey and a function will work fine and return information but until that is done they show hash NA as they try and run now that is causing havoc with my total sales it is also causing havoc with my kind of total mile sale these error messages reducing any chance they've got of producing something a little bit less professional uh, sorry a little bit less irritating something more professional so they don't only, only look ugly but they're causing errors in other error messages this should be saying that I have traveled 84 miles that week you know and these should be displaying zero pounds because there's nothing to pay but it's just not happening now there's always been ways of doing this whether we use functions like is an a nested within an if or maybe an if on its own or an if error function and you know you, we can check these out in our own time they are extremely useful in other scenarios but the introduction of if and a here, I F N A, if and a, is brilliant new addition to Excel 2013. It's such a common kind of question when training lookup functions. So let's see it in action. I'm going to do it on this mile cell, even though I have an answer in there. You know, in the future that may not be the case when people are presented with a blank form and asked to fill it out. It's going to look like that initially. So even though I have that information there right now. I'm going to double click on that cell and I'm going to click just before the start of the VLOOKUP that equal sign star after it and put IFNA and it suggests to us that it will return a value that I specify instead of the expression hash NA so let's put an opening bracket and up pop its bits of information that's right first of all if you can give me the value that you want to check to see if a hash and a error message comes back or not. Now the information is there, VLOOKUP is what I want to check. So I'm going to click on the end and put a comma. So if that VLOOKUP function comes back with a hash and a message, what would you like to do instead? I'd like to display zero. They didn't travel anywhere, zero miles. That should ensure that both formulas on either side here continue to work. Close and bracket and enter. And we have an answer. And if I was to drag that down to the other cells, everything kicks into life. Instead of the hash and A, we have a zero. That ensures that that sum function at the bottom is working perfectly fine. And these formulas also work. So to see that formula again, here it was. If and A, just what would you like to check? What would you like to do instead of the hash and A? Very simple function to use. I say it's brand new and it's an awesome new addition to the function library hope you enjoyed this tutorial please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergargard.com